My friends, Daksha Prajapati, it didn't remain there. Each day it got worse. He became more and more crude, angry, upset. He would find faults. And I tell you something, a little secret, don't tell anybody, right? The worst thing in life is to grow old so. That, that, friends, is a very, very, very sad thing. It is very, very sad. Older we grow, we must become sweeter. Where our grandchildren will say, Granddad, Aja, Aji, Nana, I just love you, love you. Hey, I want to be with Aja and Aji. No? Be that kind of person. Dutch was a very sour. One Babaji, when I went in Guyana, he said, Beta, do you know why we use lime in the puja? Everybody said, no. The Pandiji says, so your face would not look like one. I said, Hari, you ask the meaning of this. No, friends. You see, when we cut these lime, and you cut the coconut in Guyana, when you perform puja, you will cut the, they call it balidan in, in, in Guyana. Balidan, you cut the lemon and the supari, it symbolizes your cutting away that crowd that is preventing us from experiencing God. Daksha tried everything, and you know what was the worst? As I read from the Shiv Puran now, this is the crux that will take off the katha. Is that he had planned a yajna. And he invited everyone except Daksha Prajapati. Ayashna, there should be no kind of different. Everyone is welcome in Ayashna. And then Bhagavan Shiva heard this, Sati heard this. She was no, finally she got married. After a long battle. This poor girl, I tell you. And she heard her father was having this yajna and she was not invited. How a child will feel when your own parent didn't invite you, especially when you're a girl child. A poor child may faster get, you know, an invitation. She didn't get the invitation. Lord Shiva said, Sati, listen now. One must not go to a place. Yeah? Especially like that when, you, when certain people get invited, and you were not invited, it's dangerous for you to go. My suggestion to you, oh my beloved, but me, you know, my wife, please do not go. There may be some kind of difficulties, Babu Takalif. The first Hindi word is Takalif. Takalif means trouble, difficulties. Some shoka, differences and problems may be there. Please do not go. Especially in this particular yajna, where hate is coming from your own father. Daksh Prajapati is telling us something that happens in every family today. And we are begging parents, do not favor one child. Because Daksh Prajapati, you know, was the mind-born son of Lord Brahma. Of Daksh Prajapati's brother was Narad Muniji. Do you know Narad? Because they are mind-born sons of Lord Brahma. But look at the kind of life he is living. You see? So therefore, brothers and sisters, spirituality is not in the outside, spirituality is inside. And he will perform so much yajnas to please the Lord and he is displeasing. Bhagavan Shiva, Umapati Mahadeva Ki Jai Jai. My friends, anytime you have prayer and pujas and Lord Shiva is not worshipped, here in this particular katha, tells us, if Bhagwan Shiva is not honored, his name is not called, that puja becomes incomplete. That's in the reason when you're performing havan or devotion, when you pray, always chant and offer an offering for Bhagwan Shivaji. Here it tells us, without the worship of Shivaji, no yajna is complete. And that's, he's preventing Shiva. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, 
what happens here. We join in this beautiful uh, verses in Hindi and I will explain to you. Please enjoy these verses. What is that question, friends? The question is, can you destroy darkness? Yes or no? And that's a real question, right? <laughs> can you destroy darkness? Yes or no? Yes. yes. And how do you destroy darkness? By putting on a, a light. Can you destroy the ego? No. Can't destroy ego. We all have ego. If you don't have ego, then I will be, I will come outside and look for my car and it's there, but I, there is no identification. So ego helps us to identify with what is ours. So ego at a certain level is okay. But once there is no spirituality, listen to this carefully, once there is no spirituality, one's ego fattens and gets more and more. And the Atma, the God becomes less and less. 
So the ego gets fattened and the Lord becomes thin and void. And when a person operates from ego, they always find faults. But everything, everyone, the children, grandchildren, neighbors, you took everybody. He is like this and she is like this. She watched me and this one watched me too much. <laughs> yeah? You say sitaram is a problem. You don't say sitaram is a problem. You get parsad is a problem. You didn't get worse. How to please people we don't know. When the ego becomes more, faults become also multiplied. Multiply. This ego is a very, very terrible fellow. We all have ego. But ego, my dear friends, is sometimes comes from agyan. Lack of what? Knowledge gyan. Agyan is a lack of gyan. We know, but sometimes we get baffled, like, you know. I remember, <laughs> I remember when Sakshi was born. Mm -hmm. Don't feel embarrassed. <laughs> the nurse came on that day and she, she's from Kerala. You know, Kerala people speak different. They spell banana B A N Y A N Y A. That's how they spell it. <laughs> and their words are different if you are from Kerala, South India. So they they don't say elephant, they say elephant. Hmm? That's all. They speak as of the English. That's all they are. And they're very sweet, very learned, very intelligent people. So this nurse from Kerala, she came and she said, we need to give your child waxing. I said, waxing? So I turned to Navita and I said, hey, but they never wax us. So I got scared and I said, Navi, you sure new born child need waxing? What kind of thing? What are you going to rub and wax? Then she started to laugh and said, Hey, you don't know? I said, No, waxing is not for children. What place is this? And this is in Miami. She said, We better go back. <laughs> she said, No, it's not waxing, it's vaccine. <laughs> you know? Vaccine, not waxing. So there, that Agyan was there, lack of knowledge. That allow me to think differently. Yeah, I wanted to jump in that plane and go, oh, how come you put my child waxing? <laughs> because lack of gyan, that agyan stepped in. So this kind of knowledge brings enlightenment to us. Dutch Prajapati was a very educated man. He did yajnas after yajnas. But yet, that hate, that grudge, that kind of ego, he had no empathy for Shivaji. And friends, the discourse is a very long one, but I love to abbreviate stuff to get to the crux of it. And so, brothers and sisters, yeah, Lord Shiva realized that that yajna was done out of tamasic. It was tamasic means it wasn't well. <laughs> tamasic. Friends, it was done out of popularity. He gave away many wealth, but it was done out of name and fame and claim. And therefore, that yajna was not sattvic at all, at all. And so, Sati says, Shivaji, you know, I don't care. I go in. That's my father. And she left without his permission. And she went there. Of course, when she went there, her own sisters did not even look at her. See? It's a story. It's a katha. But there's so much lessons behind this katha. <coughs> Sometimes family, I tell you, can be a blessing. But when this kind of spirituality is lost in a family, it results for division in a family. Today, I would like to dedicate a prayer for the devotees in Ukraine.